do not build a home in 2022. It could be a huge mistake, costing you tens of thousands of dollars. It's hard to say that, but it's true. As a new home construction specialist, spending 15 plus years representing home builders, I've built five homes for myself, and I've personally guided more than 500 people through the home build process. And for the first time in my career, I have serious reservations about recommending that you build a home. I'm not gonna say that you absolutely should not build a home, no matter what, for any reason, but should you choose to build a home, you wanna have a solid understanding of the possible consequences. Hi, I'm Ty the Real Estate Guy, and if you'd like to stay up to date on latest real estate tips and trends, subscribe to my channel and ring that little bell. If you have questions or comments at any time during this video, please leave a message below. If you'd like to buy, sell, build a home, or invest in Utah real estate, please feel free to call or text. I would love to talk with you. Here's my top 10 reasons you should not build a home in 2022. Before we get to the list, I want you to know that I have personally worked for seven different home builders over a 15 year time period. I've represented some of the nation's largest home builders, some of the small local home builders, and even a custom home builder. I have a solid understanding of how home builders work inside and out, and it's not all pretty. I'm not gonna hold anything back. I do wanna add the disclaimer that there are some amazing people and builders, and some of the items on this list will not apply to them. Number one, home builders hate you. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm being dramatic, but a lot of builders don't want to talk to you. They don't want your input, and they certainly do not want you to tell them what they're doing wrong. Think I'm lying? Hire an experienced contractor to inspect the home just before the four-way and tell the contractor to be thorough. Then hand the list of mistakes to the builder. <laughs> they will not like it. If you pester them too much or you're too pushy, they might just return your earnest money and send you on your way. Yes, they have the right to cancel you at any time and for any reason. An honest slogan for some home builders might as well say, give us your money, shut up, and stay out of our way. Number two, the builder contract is one-sided and filled with landmines. <laughs> Most home builder contracts do not protect you, the buyer. Like I just mentioned, they can cancel you for any reason. They can also increase the price even after you've signed a final price addendum. They can claim hardship for many different reasons, allowing them to delay construction of the home. The builder also reserves the right to refuse service to anyone. So if they don't like you, <laughs> too bad. For the record, until last year, it was rare to see any of the items I just listed happen. But in 2021, nearly all home builders saw delays and many builders canceled contracts only to resell the homes later at a much higher price. All this being said, the builder doesn't get paid until you close on the home. Until that time, it's their money on the line. So they really are motivated to construct and close on your home as soon as possible. Number three, time of construction. There are two aspects to this. First, you should be aware that if you're building a house from scratch, the normal time frame is eight to nine months from the day that you signed the contract. It's kind of like having a baby. In the beginning, you're excited, but as the end nears, you just want that baby done. I've personally witnessed dozens, if not hundreds of excited buyers become upset as time drags on. More on this in a moment. The second aspect is delays. Even in a normal market, it's common to have delays. Due to the current shortages in labor and materials, most builders are experiencing delays and it could take 18 months or even two years to build your home with no repercussions. In this market, there is a real chance that this could happen. Waiting for your house to be built can be painful, but it's almost always worth it. Number four, stress. The stress of building a home is more than some people can handle. I've seen the most wonderful, polite people go out of their mind crazy, and I've witnessed sweet couples argue to tears. I'm not exaggerating. Building a home is stressful. As a matter of fact, I've heard it's one of the leading causes of divorce. I'm not sure if that's true, but I would believe it. If you're a guy, let me provide some potential marriage-saving advice. Just step out of the way and let your girl build the house the way she wants. I mean, you should get the things that are really important to you, like a home office, a three-car garage, a theater room, or whatever. But when it comes to picking the colors or materials, your opinion isn't necessary. You might be chuckling right now, or maybe even angry, but trust me on this one. If 
you're one of those rare dudes that really cares about the interior selections or whatever, just tread carefully and be sensitive to the fact that your sweet wife has been dreaming about this since she was five years old. Except for 2021, the home build process usually goes smooth, but anytime you choose to build, you should be prepared for delays. Number five, overpriced upgrades. This isn't true with all builders, but a lot of them charge way too much. Some builders charge a 100% profit margin on their options. This is unacceptable and just pure greed. So if you choose to build a home, you might wanna gain a basic understanding of what that specific builder charges for upgrades before you sign a contract. Number six, you're just a number. It's rare to find a builder that actually cares about you as an individual and your family, especially when you're dealing with the large national builders. To them, you're just the seventh buyer of the month, the 190th buyer of the year, or maybe the buyer on lot number 13. I'm not saying that there aren't good people working for these builders that really do care for you, but in the end, what the builder says goes, and these incredible people are powerless to help you. Here's a quick story to explain. I was working for a builder that got bought out by a large national builder. A few weeks after the transition was completed, I was told to reach out to several clients who had been in the process before the buyout and tell them that they needed to go back to the design center to reselect some options because we no longer carry them. I knew this wasn't true. The new builder was most likely looking at profitability. I told my boss that we were breaking our promise to our clients and that I wouldn't do it. He pushed harder, so I requested that he call my clients because I didn't want to lie to them. He threatened my employment and vehemently reminded me who I work for and my responsibility as an employee of that company. I begrudgingly made the phone calls, upsetting each client. I was so upset by this incident that I decided to walk away, leaving tens of thousands of dollars in unpaid commissions behind. You probably can't tell that years later, I'm still angry that I was bullied into making those phone calls. Number seven, warranty issues. One of the biggest complaints is that builders don't honor their warranty. Some builders have shite warranty departments or a poor system in place, while other builders just don't care about you after you close on the home and they have your money. Other builders have strict rules like they'll only come back one time during the first year. That means you'll need to make a list and reach out to the builder just before the one year mark. The other thing to consider is that many things aren't covered under the warranty. Number eight, builders are pushy and they don't communicate. It's rare that the builder's agent will reach out to you with updates on the construction of the home. Sometimes people are surprised that the builder has started on their home and often builders will give you very little notice of your closing date. You'll suddenly find yourself in a situation where you're rushing to get the appropriate documents to the lender so you can close on time. If a builder needs something from you, they need it right now, only to take their own sweet time on their end. Yes, builders always have a great excuse as to why things aren't getting done, but a lot of these delays are caused by the builders who simply are too busy to process paperwork or things of this nature. I've seen week-long delays because paperwork was lost on someone's desk. To make matters worse, the builder will charge you a late fee if you don't close on time. Builders wanna close the second the house is ready and sometimes before that. Word of warning, do not close on the home that still has items to be completed. If you're in a situation where you really need to get into the home or where the builder is threatening to charge you the late fees, get a list of items still to be completed in writing signed by the builder's representative. If possible, get them to agree to a time frame. of course, in writing. Number nine, lack of appropriate inspections. It's inexcusable and shocking how many builders don't hold the appropriate meetings with their clients throughout the home build process. At a minimum, the builder should hold a pre-construction meeting to go over your floor plan and selections before they dig the hole. Then you should be invited to what they call a four-way where you have one last chance to look at the guts of the house. This is a great opportunity and sometimes your last chance to ask the builder questions and correct any errors before the sheetrock is hung. Finally, you should be given the opportunity to do a final walkthrough. Really, you should get to do two final walkthroughs. One, about a week before the closing to confirm everything is done. At this point, the builder will have a small list of items still be completed and you should be given the opportunity to add anything you see to that list. Then you should get a second final walkthrough just before closing to confirm the builders completed all the items on the list. 10, huge delays. We are currently suffering from a lack of building materials, which is causing huge delays. To make matters worse, we're also dealing with a shortage 
in labor. So even when the appropriate supplies arrive, they often sit there for weeks, just waiting for the right trade to come available and do the work. Delays normally wouldn't be a huge problem, but there's one more reason why you should not build a home in 2022. Number 11, increasing mortgage rates. This is the number one reason I hesitate to recommend that you build a house in 2022. If you were to start the process today and the builder took 12 months or longer to complete the home, it's predicted that rates will be higher. This will cause several issues. For instance, your monthly house payment will be higher than what the lender originally quoted you. This could make your finances tighter than what you'd like. Even worse, the increased monthly payment could mean that you no longer qualify to buy the home that you're building. If that happens, the builder could keep all of your deposits and you just wasted months where you could have already purchased a home. If you want a new home, but you're worried higher mortgage rates could put you in danger, you might want to consider a spec home. The reason you want to purchase a house right now is because mortgage rates will rise throughout the year and home prices are expected to increase in most areas of the country. Really, there are loads of reasons why you want to buy a home right now. And I won't go into details today because I just released the top 10 reasons you should buy a house right now. You want to watch that video or many of you may prefer to watch 10 reasons why you need to build a home in 2022. Look for the links to both those videos below. I'm not trying to annoy you with so many suggestions. There's just so much to say, but I don't want to repeat things that I've said in other videos. I also know that for many of you, this is overwhelming. That's why I produced very specific videos on different aspects of building a house. I'll put links to the most popular videos below. So should you decide to build a home, I highly recommend that you reach out to a real estate agent in your area to represent you. It will literally cost you nothing because the builder will pay your agent. That being said, you can't just hire any realtor. Find an agent who understands home builders and the home build process. A realtor will give you a layer of added protection and knowledge that you wouldn't otherwise have. If you're moving to Utah, I'd be honored to guide and protect you in your home building journey. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions. Yes, it's likely that there will be bumps in the road, but nothing beats moving into a brand spanking new home, especially if you're the one who designed it. The home build process is confusing and it can quickly become overwhelming. So as promised, here's a list of videos to guide you through the process of building a home. The in-depth guide for buying a new construction home. How to find the best home builder. How to save money when buying a new construction home. The most in-depth video on how a house is built. I have hundreds of videos to help you through the process. I'll put links to the most helpful videos below. If you're looking to buy, sell, build a home, or invest in Utah real estate, please feel free to contact me directly. I would love to talk with you. If there's something that stood out to you as being helpful, or if you have questions, please comment below. I always do my best to respond to each one of you. If you know someone who's thinking about building a home, please share this video with them. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell to be notified each time I post new videos. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Ty, the real estate guy. If you found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to ring that little bell below and make you feel good.